We also have seen situations where police officers acted inappropriately. And it's rare, I want to be clear, but it must be addressed in every instance. Now, I want to take a step back and talk about a very troubling video uh, from the night before last of two police cars moving through an intersection, moving through a crowd that was so troubling to the people of this city. And I spoke to it, and I spoke from the heart about what I saw, but what I also knew had been happening in that day and the day before, including very dangerous situations where the lives of our officers were in danger. And I tried to express that reality while also saying it's not acceptable for a police car to ever move through a crowd. I don't think I expressed it as well as I should have. So I want to try again to help the people of this city understand. There is no situation where a police vehicle should drive into a crowd of protesters or New Yorkers of any kind. It is dangerous. It is unacceptable. This was an extremely aberrant situation. And there were extenuating circumstances, I believe, because of incidents that had happened earlier. And I understand why the danger that there could have been a much bigger conflict there was looming. But it is still not acceptable for our officers to ever drive into a crowd. This incident is under investigation as we speak, both within the NYPD and by the independent review that I have set up with our Corporation Counsel and our Department of Investigation Commissioner. Uh, there's going to be, in each and every instance, where an officer did something wrong. And we've all seen the video of an officer pushing a young woman to the ground. We've seen the video of an officer opening a car door and hitting a protester. All of these matters are under review right now. They need to be speedy reviews. Discipline must be meted out in any case where it is merited. We need to show the people of this city that there's one standard that, and I got this when I've talked to community leaders and community members, this is the nagging deep complaint, this sense of double standard and it can't go on. Vast majority of officers do their job, do their job well. The vast majority of officers are trying to connect to communities and do the right thing. They're in this job for the right reason. There are some who do not belong on this job. And there are some that use violence when they shouldn't. There are some that are disrespectful to the people they serve. There are some that harbor racism in their hearts. These people should not be in the police force. And it's our job to get them out. So any situation where an officer does something, even in the context of a protest in a tense situation, they do something offensive and inappropriate. There must be immediate investigation. There must be the appropriate penalty. And that penalty can include all the way up to being removed from the police force. There's a video going around of a police officer in the middle of a situation that admittedly looked chaotic, but where protesters were in front of that police officer, that police officer drew his gun at some point yesterday. That, to me, seeing that video was absolutely unacceptable. Now, I don't know all the circumstances, and we must know all the facts. There will be an immediate full investigation of that incident. But I can say, as a New Yorker, as your mayor, as someone who understands that the vast majority of protesters are there peacefully, and even those who do have that violent intent, are still human beings, we have to always know it is not the place of an officer to pull a gun in the middle of a crowd, knowing that there are peaceful protesters in that crowd, that is unacceptable, that is dangerous. And I want you to note on that video how a superior officer immediately came over and move that officer away from that crowd. That officer should have his gun and badge taken away today. There will be an investigation immediately to determine the larger consequences.